what do you want to show at this camp? Uh, you know, I kind of want to just, you know, show myself and show what I got and, you know, just take in every opportunity to, you know, soak in as much information, get better and, you know, just kind of, you know, put my name out there, you know. What are you focused on just in general this summer when it comes to improving in your game? Uh, I want to focus on my goal scoring and then also just touch up on the stuff that, you know, I'm, uh, I think I'm good at. So just like kind of just tweaking my game all around and just touching up some stuff. How do you work on goal scoring? Uh, you know, just finding different ways to get the puck off, finding ways to get in different areas and shoot and stuff like that. So just making that a focus this summer. What was the experience like with the Marlies? Uh, I was good. I played uh, seven regular season games there and three playoff games. Uh, I learned a lot. Um, you know, there's a lot of veterans in that room, so I just try to take in as much information as I could. Um, yeah, I mean, it was a good experience. I kind of learned on what I need to, you know, improve on for this summer. So that's that's kind of why um, I said I was working on my uh, goal score and stuff like that. What was the big difference when you make the leap to pros from college? Uh, I think it's just like the the puck handling, the passing. It's a lot more cleaner. Guys don't mess up at all. So I mean, if uh, and if you do mess up, it's going to cost you. So it's just that's that's definitely the big difference. What was your welcome to pro hockey moment? Um, I mean, I got to play at the, at the Marley's rink there, and you know, it was a lot of people there, probably like seven, eight thousand. So it was a good, good uh, welcome there. It was fun. Did you ever end up talking to Nice about the NCAA championship game? Uh, no, I haven't, I haven't seen him. So no, we haven't, we haven't got a chance to talk about that. What, what were your impressions of him in college? Oh uh, yeah, he's a great player. Um, thought he was one of the best players, uh, you know, in the Frozen Four there, and you know the. The whole uh, the whole year in college, so I mean he's a, he's an unbelievable player. Did you have a welcome to the Leafs organization moment, like whether it's social media or just being noticed by someone you didn't expect? Like on that side of it, what what did you pick up? Uh, yeah, I mean when I signed, uh, they they put me on the the, the game. Uh, I forget who they were playing, but they put me. Uh, they they showed me during the intermission, so that was that was pretty cool. So a good welcome there. Yeah. What did your phone look like? Uh, a lot a lot of texts, a lot of congratulations there. Anyone yeah. surprise you that reached out? No, just, you know, everyone, uh, I got a good welcome from uh, all the Leafs organizations, so that was, you know, very, very cool. Um, yeah, but just normal people, you know. Who was your friends. favorite player as you were growing up? Uh, probably Sidney Crosby. I grew up uh, five minutes from him. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. So do you, do you model any of your game after him, or, or is there anybody that you try to model after? Yeah, I mean, for sure, I watched him all growing up, so I'm just trying to take little things that he does. He plays the game so detailed and so well, so... Whatever he, he does out there, I, you know, I try to mimic. What's he mean back home? Like, how would you describe it? I mean, he's uh, he's an icon there. He's you know he's, he has Nova Scotia. Him and Nathan McKinnon and Marchand, you know, they kind of represent hockey down there. So I mean, um, yeah, I kind of look up to all those guys. Did you run into them in the summer, guys? Um, no, but I've seen them training. I've seen them practicing. So yeah, it was good to see them. What's this experience like for you? Uh, it's been great. Um, learning a lot of things this week. Um, just being around the guys, seeing the other prospects. Um, kind of getting to know them um, and then learning stuff off the ice, nutrition, how to prepare, and then on the ice, just little stick details, uh, stuff defensively that I can kind of take into my game and as the summer goes on, work on those things. What did you learn on the nutrition side that you didn't know before? Yeah, it's uh, a big a big kid like me, I, I, gotta, I gotta eat more. Um, it's tough to, to add some weight. Um, but just went, went to eat before a game, um, just cut out the, the carbs and, and those little things just to try to keep lean, but also keep that weight on, um, just to kind of find that healthy, healthy balance that uh, allows for me to play at my best. Hey, do you have a little more confidence given that you're the type of team that you want, big, that sort of thing? Yeah, it's obviously good to know that they value those guys. Um, I know at college, um, Coach Pandolfo, though, they, they preached on having guys like that, um, and I kind of take pride in being that defensive defenseman, uh, blocking shots, kind of doing the, the unsexy things. Um, and so, yeah, I, I think that's that's a big thing here, and I, I know they, they're they going to put uh, all they can and kind of develop me, um, and I know this is just the beginning. I have a ton of more work to do, um, so I'm looking forward to that. What was it like kind of growing up, like learning how to explore your body or like get the most out of your size? Yeah, I think it, it kind of it took a while. Um, a couple year, a couple years ago at school, um, I I didn't really know what kind of defenseman I wanted to be. I was kind of in the middle, um, and then kind of over the last couple of years, I kind of decided that in order to, to make it to the next level, I got, I'm going to have to be that defensive defenseman. Um, just be hard on guys, make simple plays. Um, so yeah, just kind of using my reach, um, 
making it hard on opposing forward, just being that tough guy, that steady guy. Um, so yeah, I think I've taken a huge step in, in that role. Were you always one of the bigger kids on your teams, or did you grow late? No, I, I've kind of uh, been the bigger kid just growing up. Um, so yeah, just kind of used to that, but just kind of filling out um, and just in that manner and, and kind of just learning how, how to use my body, my reach, um, my skating to, to my advantage. You sure. signed right at the end of the season, and the first season, then you got to work out with the Leafs through practices and, and morning skates. What was that experience like for you? Yeah, it was awesome. Um, just learning from those guys, how they handle themselves every day. Um, how much work they put into it. I think and it kind of just taught me how, how big the jump is and, and how, how much work I'm going to have to put in into the summer to, to hopefully get to that point one day. Um, but yeah, it was a good learning experience. It kind of taught me what, what I had to do over the summer, just kind of get bigger, stronger. Uh, guys are harder to knock off pucks um, and, and stuff like that, so I've been working on that. What's the moment that resonated the most being around this Leafs team down the stretch? I think um, just the playoff run, um, the buy-in stuff like that, how, how guys kind of dialed in in the playoffs. And I think just um, just being there, um, just just learning from them, how they handle themselves in kind of big moments like that, um, just le learning from veterans and, and stuff like that. Um, so just kind of being around the, the group, just kind of take those little things in and take them into my own game. What's the goal for you uh, coming into training camp? Yeah, obviously, uh, we still have a little bit left here. I'm just going to try to learn everything I can here. Um, and improve my game in, in the gym and obviously on the ice and then just put my uh, best foot forward and uh, going into main camp. Um, but yeah, I'm just kind of staying focused here, uh, taking everything in and then I'm gonna go back home, train, skate, uh, all the normal things and then head back up here in, in early August and continue training. What's it like having Jake Muzzin out there being able to learn from a guy like him? Yeah, he, he's been great. Um, obviously he's won a cup, um, he knows what it takes, um, he's kind of that the guy I, I kind of want to learn model myself after a little bit. Just he's a hard defenseman, simple block shots, just a tough guy. Um, and he's kind of after I was traded here, um, he called me and kind of introduced himself, and, and we've been back and forth, um, just little teaching points about my game or who to watch in the playoffs and stuff like that, how how they handle themselves. So just ch trying to pick up everything I can from him. Um, he's had a, a great career, long long career, and obviously he's won it. So that, that's a good guy to kind of. Who are some of the other guys, guys that you've uh, that you've tracked, uh, current players that you kind of try to model yourself after? Yeah, um, obviously being from Boston, growing up with Hoist Chara, but um, obviously not, not anymore. <laughs> but uh, Brandon Carlo, actually Yanni Hockenpah, my assistant coach, he just signed here. That's another kind of game. Um, Jacob Slavin, he, he's kind of a reliable defenseman. He's a dwarf. Just kind of bigger guys that are just they're, they're hard to play against. Just make it miserable for other teams' forwards. So, yeah, those are some of the guys uh, that I've been watching and trying to pick up little things and adding it to my own game. So, uh, what was it like to be drafted by the Maple Leafs? Oh, it's amazing. I can't explain it was like, it was just fantastic. Where were you? Who were you with? What was that moment like? Uh, I was at home with my parents and my dad just started screaming, my mom just started crying. <laughs> I didn't know how to react, so it was just amazing. Were you expecting them to draft you like they obviously must have shown an interest in this yeah i didn't expect them to draft me but i know like it was a chance that they were drafting me and i didn't know that i was going to go like fourth round i didn't have that on my mind when did you think you were going to be drafted oh like not at all or seventh round why <laughs> i don't know like i felt like it was uh, so much other players that was so much better than me do you i mean you're very very slight very uh, was that part of the thinking that you, you, you're maybe just too small right now or too skinny? Or? Uh, a little bit maybe. Uh, I felt like yeah, I had to grow a little bit in my body, give it like two years or something like that. Uh, but uh, it's nice that they believe in me and uh, they see I've developed in me. You're a hockey playing family, though, right? Yeah. yeah. Tell me a bit, bit about your dad and your brothers. And yeah, my dad was playing professional hockey for a, a decade or two. Uh, really good. He didn't get drafted though because they needed a right-hander for defense. So uh, he just uh, played in Europe. And uh, I got two older brothers who also played, both drafted. So we have like our own competition there, like who is going to be the best of us. <laughs> and not right now, Anton was drafted first of all. So he sent me like a message to me like, oh, I got 16 picks before you. Ha ha ha. Yeah, so it's nice. How would you describe your style of play, your game? Oh, I'm a two-way defender uh, with uh, a lot of physical play and a lot of competitiveness. 
who is your uh, NHL role model? Who's the player you've looked up to uh, growing up? Oh, like, it could be Victor Hedman, Niklas Kronwall, like, all the Swedes, defenders, like, yeah, like, uh, Leeds, Krum, and, yeah. yeah. What's it like being here now that you've been drafted and you're at a development camp? Like, what stands out being here? It's amazing. Like, I'm just enjoying it, having fun, getting uh, to know uh, everyone and all that. So, yeah, it's, it's fun. Did Dad tell you about your Islamic series? <laughs> no, he didn't. <laughs> Who's your favorite team growing up? What's that? Who's your favorite team growing up in NHL if you had one? Oh, Tampa Bay. Like, okay, Hedman? Yeah. Okay. Uh, what part of Sweden is home? What's that? Where, where's home in Sweden? Oh, Lexham. Lexham? Yeah. Okay. What are you working on this summer? What's the next step for you in your development? Yeah, I'm going to work on my off-ice training a lot. Uh, I'm going to try to get a little bit bigger and uh, get some extra touch there. What are you going to eat to get bigger? Oh, everything. <laughs> <laughs> everything I can get in my stomach is good. What is your weight right now? <laughs> uh, I'm uh, 147. 147. LBS. 147. Yeah. yeah. How hard is it to play the competitive style you like at that size? In Sweden, uh, the physical play is not a uh, thing there, so it's uh, kind of easier over there. But right now here, I guess it's a little bit harder. But I think I can get the game. How big are your brothers? Oh, they are like 200 LBS and 6'4", uh, 6'2". Six six yeah, so they're kind of big. Anything you're looking forward to eating? Uh, when I come home, I'm going to get a pizza. <laughs> pizza here, no good? <laughs> no, I'm at the devil camp. I'm not going to eat any pizza. Right, right. Uh, Got to be good. Have you learned much about the nutrition side? I know they do some work with that uh, here during the yeah, camp. Yeah, a little bit about yeah. it, yeah. Yeah, what, what has stood awesome out? One, guys. What's that? What has stood out from what you've heard on yeah, the nutrition side? What have you learned? I don't know what nutrition side is. Like the food? Oh, what, the like food. what to eat, how to do it? Yeah, like uh, what type of food you need to eat. Like you can't just go and eat anything like it needs to be specific what are you hoping to show at this camp uh you know what just take all you know just be kind of a sponge here um it's my first half camp at a you know at the nhl level so um yeah just you know learn from other guys learn from you know all the development staff and you know uh, just take it all in how many guys do you know here uh coming into this i didn't know too many uh you know just from playing against them uh, i already got to know quite a few guys though so it's you know, going good so is Cowan a good guy? Yeah, he's a good guy. Um, on the ice, we might you know go at it a little bit, but uh, no, so far, I know he's been a good guy. So. How difficult was that playing against him and the things he was able to do? For sure. Yeah, he's definitely a game changer. Um, you know, he obviously he won the MVP in the playoffs, so uh, he's definitely a difference maker, great player. What were the battles like? Like, did you feel like you handled them all right during this last season? Uh, yeah. No, um, I thought it. No, I thought I put my best foot forward, and uh, you know, I competed. Uh, as, as hard as I could, so uh, yeah, I know I felt pretty comfortable, you know, in battles and stuff like that. So, has he brought up the playoffs at all, or has he kind of let it let it be? Um, you know, we joke around over a little bit, I guess. Uh, but uh, you know, it's kind of in the past, and uh, you know, we're just focusing on Dev Camp right now, um, and then you know, back uh, to the OHL next year, and and uh, definitely we'll uh, get our game faces back on. So. How would you describe then your idea style? Uh, you just a two-way guy. Um, someone who's defense first, and uh, you know, the offense is there as well. Uh, you know, he just competes hard block shots, playing a lot of different situations. Haley was saying yesterday that your stats, she thinks you have better offense potential than your, your stats show. Do you feel that is an element that you can continue to grow in your game this season? Yeah, I feel like with my skating ability and, and hockey IQ, you know, that's something that I can definitely improve on. Uh, you know, there's a great development staff and, and people that, you know, work here and they definitely, uh, you know, what they're doing, some of the best in, in the world. So, um, you know, with, with them behind me, I think, uh, no, I, should, I should be going in the right direction for sure. Kate Weber was saying he takes pride in the unsexy things, Ben. Would you describe yourself the same way in that regard? Yeah, for sure. Um, blocking shots, you know, just doing little things. Uh, you know, not a lot of people, you know, the normal people just watching the games on television don't see those, you know, those little things that help your teammates, you know, succeed. Um, yeah, I feel like that, you know, that's a huge part of the game. Uh, blocking shots, you know, getting bumps on guys, little things like that. Uh, they've kind of harped on that so far in the dev camp. So you guys are actually practicing blocking shots and you can't probably shoot them at you. What was that? Did it hurt? Oh, uh, no, they were uh, rubber pucks. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, no, that was good though. What was it like, what's it like working with Jake Muzzin here? Oh, that's great. Um, uh, I mean, I've been a Leafs fan and my whole life, and you know, I watched him, and, and I definitely looked up to him. So, that, you know, uh, you get to know him and, and to learn from him, it's you know, it's really special. What's something he said to you so far that's resonated? Um, I mean, like he's just he's uh, said to a lot of guys, just um, you know, just compete here. Uh, and again, just you know, take it all in, be a sponge, 
Um, yeah, he's, he just he knows what he's talking about. Um, yeah, he just he, he knows what he's doing at this level for sure. So. Did you have a feeling that you were on the Leafs' radar leading into the draft? Uh, you know what? I talked to them, and and uh, anything can kind of happen. Uh, you never know. So um, yeah, my hopes were up uh, when they were picking 31, and, and it turned out well. So. You mentioned that you've been a Leafs fan all your life. Do you have a favorite Leaf memory growing up? Uh, no, not necessarily. Uh, nothing comes to mind. Um, yeah, I'm, no, I don't know. I've just, uh, no, I've always been a diehard uh, Leafs fan, and and uh, you know, there's been a lot of cool moments, and you know, a lot of great players have come through this organization. So you know, I've got to see that. So it's been great. What was it like getting a text from Tavares after he got picked? Yeah, it was really cool. Uh, the guy, beside, you know, he's such a high character guy, and and um, you know, such a high caliber player. So to get a text from him means a lot from you know a guy like that. So it, yeah, you know, I took it to heart, and it was great. Did he hear from any other current Leafs? Anyone else reach out? No, I haven't. Um, it was just a virus that, you know, they reached out to me, so.